So, in a sh- political show, right, all this theater, form over substance, President Obama, you know, made a big deal of the fact that he signed up for the bronze plan, you know, in solidarity, a show of support. You know, he's in it. He's just like all the rest of us, right? He's signing up for the bronze plan. Of course, you know, the bronze plan is the lowest level of plan. Uh, you know, there's gold, silver, and and then bronze. And so he signed up for bronze just to show that, hey, even the president is uh, signing up for Obamacare. Well, I mean, not really, because he still has... Uh, his health care provided by, I guess, the military as the commander in chief. He has uh, the best probably health care plan uh, that government money can uh, can buy, that stolen money can pay for. Right. So he doesn't need this bronze plan. Right. It's all ceremonial. It means nothing to him uh, because he's got another health care plan. So this is just uh, for show, just so we can say, yeah, I've got the bronze plan. You know, maybe it would mean something if he had to give up. Uh, the other health care that he gets at taxpayer expense and was stuck with nothing more than what he could get uh, from that bronze plan. See, that there, you know, I would say, OK, you know, he's eating his own cooking. Right. But no, he's not. He's not. You know, he's he's only pretending he's he's got the meal, but he has no intention of ever eating it uh, because he's got a gourmet uh, meal waiting for him. And so, you know, this is, you know, this is mac and cheese or something. He's not even going to he's not going to have any any bit of this. So but here uh, they're talking about this. This is at his press conference or he's not there, but Carney is there speaking on his behalf. And the subject comes up. Uh, Have a listen. uh, Cut number one. And just one last thing, the president over the uh, over the break uh, enrolled in a, in a bronze plan, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, individual plan. Why did he do that? I mean, he's not actually going to use this, uh, this health coverage, obviously. I think, it, as we said, uh, when uh, it occurred, this is largely a symbolic move uh, to demonstrate, uh, uh, obviously, his commitment, which I don't think could be any clearer, uh, to the Affordable Care Act. So it's a symbolic move. He does something meaningless and that's supposed to demonstrate his commitment to Obamacare. How how does that demonstrate anything? Yes, I I bought something that I don't need and I'm never going to use to show how serious I am. You know, the one thing that he might have been able to do is sign up for the plan himself, right? Actually go online, check it out, you know, see how it works, uh, you know, go on the Internet, you know, and actually sign up as if he was one of us. Right. That would have been something. Right. That would have put a little bit of some substance to the symbolism, because at least he could have said, look, you know, I walked a mile in your shoes or maybe not quite a mile. But hey, and, and at least, you know, as the, you know, the, the head of Obamacare, right, the guy that thought it up, you would at least want to test it out yourself. Right. I mean, I'm sure the. CEO of Coca-Cola has drank a can of Coke himself just to test it out, see how it tastes. Even if he even if he mainly is drinking wine or something else, he got to have a Coca-Cola every once in a while just to see what it's like. Right. Or most you know, if you if you run an airline, if you're the CEO of, uh, you know, American Airlines, you probably get on the plane once in a while just to check it out. See how it see how the service is. Right. Any anybody that runs a, a major company is going to try to experience the company from the perspective of his customers just to see how things are going, to see how if he thinks he, you know, things need to be improved. Not President Obama. No, he didn't even sign up for the plan himself. He had one of his taxpayer paid minions do it here. Listen, <laughs> cut number two. He didn't enroll himself, right? Uh, the staff went and did it for him. Did, did he? Did he directly engage in this? I, I think we answered these questions several weeks ago. John, I, his assistant, did the his physical. Sure, but he phys- he did not physically enroll. Uh, I don't think uh, anybody would doubt how busy the president is, uh, or anyone would doubt that this president is highly computer literate. Uh, but his assistant uh, uh, did the enrolling for him. So he's too busy. He's too. Bu- this is his signature plan his signature achievement the crown in his presidential the jewel in his presidential crown right he's too busy to to go to the website himself i mean if you're gonna ceremoniously say look i'm gonna sign up for this plan even though i'm never gonna use it the least thing you could do is actually sign up 
You've negated any meaning by saying, yes, I'm going to sign up for a plan that I'm never going to use. And by the way, I'm not even going to sign up myself. I'm going to have somebody else do it for me. So I'm going to have absolutely no interaction whatsoever with Obamacare. I'm not going to use the plan that I bought, and I'm not even going to sign up for it myself. I mean, the least thing he could have done was sign up for it. At least go through the motions. At least say, yeah, I went on there. I mean, you know, he's complaining about how the website doesn't work. Why not test it out? Why not take it? You think it would be time well spent. You've got this disaster of a rollout. You've got this huge plan. You've basically socialized healthcare. You've taken over. You've nationalized this big chunk of industry. And a lot of it is like, well, you know, the sign-up process. At least do it yourself. Go through the paces, do a dry run, right? You're signing up for this plan anyway. Do it yourself.